I am a man who frequently makes grievous mistakes. One of these mistakes is never throwing away a piece of wood, no matter how small it is. I just feel like the tiny things could be used to make something cute someday, and never end up actually getting around to doing it. I could deal with this mistake by just burning it, the pieces of wood that is, or I could try to make it into something delightful. So today I shall be carefully crafting a whiteboard out of scrap wood. I decided to use paduk, maple, and walnut for this because it was in my bin of mistakes and because I feel like that is the only combination I use for every single project I do. I ripped the pieces down into thinner strips by use of the table saw and then threw them all through the thickness planer to make them even. At this point in the project I still don't exactly have a plan as to what I'm doing, I'm just kind of cutting things up and pretending to be an intelligent human being. Just a great example of the intelligent human being showcasing his supreme intelligence. However, it doesn't take much intelligence to know that short and tall things don't mix very well. So I marked on the tall things where I needed to cut and proceeded to cut them on the scroll saw. A couple of months ago, the original blade that came with the scroll saw broke. That is a very normal thing to happen from what I understand. I now replace mine every week or two. Anyway. The blade broke and I decided to be a really fancy man for no real reason and bought a bunch of name brand expensive scroll saw blades. Now before we get back to why I bought a whole bunch of name brand scroll saw blades, I have found that a walkie talkie is actually probably the best way to spread your glue around. It just has a level of precision and elegance that I haven't found anywhere else. Anyway, back to the scroll saw blades. Now one thing about scroll saw blades is that there are a ton of options. They have blades with teeth that cut up, cut down, cut both ways, cut backwards and forwards, cut side to side, all the things. I was kind of intimidated by all this, but because I must be a really cool woodworker, I just ordered a whole bunch of different ones, deciding I would try them out and figure out which ones I like best. Well when they actually arrived, I proceeded to immediately mix them all up and now I have no idea which is which. They all cut about the same though, so I guess it doesn't really make a difference. Alright, a little update on what's going on in the video. I glued the little strips into sandwiches, proceeded to plane the sandwiches down, and now I'm ripping the sandwiches up so that I get some thin sandwiches. This kind of reminds me of like that Napoleon or whatever ice cream that nobody really likes. Like, I personally can very much enjoy some strawberry ice cream, but you know what would be way better? Mix it up with some vanilla too, which that's pretty good. And while you're at it, you may as well throw in some chocolate in there too, which I don't think is very good at all. And may as well combine those in an actual container and try to market it as a real ice cream flavor. Seems like the result of some drunk factory workers modifying ice cream machines just for the fun of it. And then whoever's in charge actually got on board with the foolishness. No. Just no. Alright, so then I cut some 45 degree angles on all the pieces, making sure that they were all the same length and that the paduk wood was on the inner part of all the 45s. In other words, making sure that they would all line up properly when it came time to glue it all together. Then I set my table saw blade to about half the height of the pieces and proceeded to cut out a notch or a groove along the inside of the pieces. I believe this is technically called a rabbit. This should allow me to drop in the whiteboard at a later date and give it some good surface area to actually bond to. Apparently I left this part blank while recording the voiceover. I'm now going over it for a final time to make sure it's all appropriate. So enjoy two cannon shots instead. Then, as you just saw, I used a chisel and a bit of sandpaper to clean up the rabbits and make them look nice. Chisels, I have found, are the optimal tool for dealing with rabbits that aren't exactly how you want them. I also cut a slight angle on the inside of each piece. Not necessarily a necessary thing, I just did it to make the frame have a bit more energy. I've really been picking up on a lot of energy of late, and I very much enjoy. I then proceeded to make a whole bunch of really silly mistakes. I didn't let the glue cure enough before I tried to continue with the project. Not optimal, not optimal, not optimal, not at all optimal, not very optimal at all, not optimal, optimal it is not, not optimal. 
In case you didn't pick up on it, this was not an optimal situation. I tried to deal with it by just using some super glue to glue it back, but it was having a bad day and decided to be a stubborn thing and wouldn't stick to anything but my fingers. I finally decided to just proceed with the project and glue the piece back together when I glued the whiteboard into the frame. Here I'm just scuffing up the edges of the whiteboard so that the glue actually has something to bond to. The board I'm using is actually the scraps of a 4x8 sheet that my mom bought to hold poop. We have a chicken coop and this is the surface of choice for all their depository needs. I decided to use some 15 minute epoxy to glue the whiteboard down to the frame. I used this because my only other available options were wood glue or super glue. I wasn't quite sure how the wood glue would bond with the whiteboard and I had already had a bad time with the super glue previously so we weren't going to go there again. I then just used some dumbbells to weigh it down while it dried. Until I realized that I had made yet another grievous mistake. Get ready to enjoy. Oh, plop. That's not optimal. That's not optimal. That is... Ah, oh, you idiot. You fool. Somehow... Oh. You are such a moron. Curb the verbal abuse of yourself, but that is, why would you put the glue under the, you idiot. Oh, but we seem like it's okay. Oh my goodness, that's so stupid. Ryan, you're such a genius late at night. Wow, go invent a light bulb. That is insane. I used some sandpaper and super glue to fill in some gaps between my teeth. I've been wildly displeased with the audio quality of my videos. It just hurts so much to walk into a bar or restaurant that is airing my show and hear my voice, yet not in its true glory or power. The situation right now is like trying to catch a mighty whale with a net meant for minnows. No matter how hard you try, it's just too powerful and wonderful to properly capture. So this morning, because I was really getting into the mood, I spent a little over a quarter of a gold doubloon on a new mic, filter, and sound absorption system, so hopefully my next video will better capture the true power, glory, and might of my vocality. I just sanded the frame a bit, and then it came time to apply a finish. Per usual, I'm using an oil wax blend. And of course the camera decided to focus on my arm and then couldn't refocus. Can't really blame it though, that's what usually happens when my arm comes into view. Camera crew has since been fired though. Well folks, that's about it for this one. I might put on some sort of mechanism so that this could be mounted on a wall. These Ice Tech 50 pack small sawtooth picture hangers, steel picture hanging pictures, frame hangers, with screws, picture hang solutions for hanging clock, paintings, artwork, picture frame, hooks, photos, black, look pretty good. Thanks a ton for watching this far into the video. I hope you enjoyed. Feel free to do all the various things and stay tuned for more videos. Also, I'm rather short of ideas as to what I should make next for a video. So if there's something interesting you think I should try to make, let me know either via comments or otherwise. It's weird, my parents have made 88 fake accounts to subscribe to me with. Let's keep up this energy and go for 89. Dream big, follow your dreams. Thanks for watching.